By now, most people have heard about Joaquin El Chapo Guzman's elaborate prison escape. Mainstream media outlets and government officials continue to exhibit shock that Guzman, considered the most powerful drug trafficker in the world, could pull off such an escape, even though it's not the first time he's successfully fled from prison. However, most pundits have failed to point out the obvious. Guzman is a product of the war on drugs. Without prohibitive drug laws, he would be powerless. Guzman, the head of the Sinaloa cartel, escaped a Mexican prison 10 days ago through a mile-long tunnel from a small opening in the shower of his cell. Based on the complexity of the tunnel, officials say it took more than a year to construct, and it's unlikely the noise caused by its creation wouldn't have attracted attention. Furthermore, officials say the escape required prison blueprints and knowledge of alarm and camera systems. So how could Guzman pull off such an escape? Well, his Sinaloa cartel is the largest criminal organization in Mexico. And thanks to the gang's illegal production and distribution of cocaine, meth, cannabis, ecstasy, and heroin sold across North America and Europe, Guzman is worth more than $1 billion. In fact, when he was arrested last year, no one had imported more drugs into the United States than Guzman. With prohibitive drug laws, Guzman and other criminals have complete control over the black market making them rich, powerful, and dangerous. According to Edgardo Buscaglia, an organized crime expert at Columbia University, this money and power even allows Guzman to co-opt the government, bending them to his will. He said the Sinaloa cartel is far and away the most infiltrated in Mexico's government institutions. Some experts claim that Guzman paid off prison officials as his escape couldn't have gone undetected. The war on drugs continues to benefit people like Guzman, whose cartel is estimated to have killed more than 100,000 people. Millions of people use illicit drugs, regardless of laws, and Guzman and other violent criminals are simply able to take advantage of the untapped market. If drugs were legally available, Guzman would be a powerless nobody. Instead, the war on drugs has made this murderous drug lord a billionaire, with the power and wealth to escape a high-security prison.